All right, here we have another post trade moment number 17, and uh, this this dirty, filthy little foul-mouthed liar. I'm I'm getting so sick and tired of watching these videos. It's it's making my blood pressure go up. I mean, the, you aren't gonna believe the lies in this one. Claiming that it is well with my soul's a post trib hymn. Today I want to talk about a hymn out of the hymnal, and that hymn is "It Is Well with My Soul." It's one of my favorite songs. And one of the things that I like the most about it is that it's very clear that the author of the hymn understood the post-tribulation rapture. Uh, actually, no, he didn't. Uh, he was a good friend of D.L. Moody. D.L. Moody taught a pre-tribulation rapture. Okay, I think, I think his name was Horatio Spafford. I'll have to check that. Yes, right there. You can see Horatio Spafford. There's his uh, picture. And there's the hymn right there. It is well with my soul. Okay? A very fascinating story about Horatio Spafford. And one of the reasons that he wrote the hymn there is because he lost his son and then his three little girls. They sank on a ship and only his wife was saved. She was the only one that survived. So he was looking forward to the rapture so he could see his daughters again. Okay, he was not post-trib. Steve Anderson is just a lying little devil. Let's continue. That's not surprising since the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine is a pretty new doctrine. Mm -hmm. And most of the hymns in the hymnal are pretty old. So most of the people who wrote these hymns obviously believe that the rapture came after the tribulation. He's a liar. I'm not going to take the time, but you go through the hymn book and you'll see time after time after time people looking forward to the rapture before the tribulation. He's a liar. And it's very clear when you read the words of the song that that's what the hymn writer believed. Let's read the last verse of the song, It Is Well With My Soul. And Lord, haste the day when my faith shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound and the Lord shall descend. Even so, it is well with my soul. Now, there are two things in that verse that prove that whoever wrote that understood that the rapture was post-tribulational. Okay, Horatio Spafford wrote it, and you're a liar. It's not post-trib. It came after the tribulation. And, of course, pre-trib rapture churches all over America sing this song all the time. Yeah, because it's a pre-trib rapture song. Why don't you shut your mouth, you stupid little liar? And it just goes right over their head, apparently, uh, what this is teaching. Because there are two things. First of all, the song equates the day when we see Jesus Christ and the trump sounds and the day that we're waiting for, Lord, haste the day when my face shall be sighted. The song equates that with the clouds being rolled back as a scroll. Huh? That's right. Just show you here. Okay. He looks and he sees here in Revelation chapter 4. John looks and he says, And behold, a door was opened in heaven. Okay. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. That we're going to go, go up to meet the Lord in the clouds. Meet caught up together in the clouds with our uh, dead, saved loved ones. And we'll meet the Lord in the air. Very interesting. But let's see what the, the liar has to say about it. You say, what's the significance of that? Well, that's, a, that's directly taken from Revelation chapter 6. Now, you're going to see, watch, watch how he lies. It says, the clouds be rolled back as a scroll. Watch how this little liar does his little trick here. Watch. After the tribulation and the sun and moon are darkened, when, after the sixth seal is opened, the Bible says that the sun and moon are darkened, verse 13, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Listen to verse 14. And the heavens departed as a scroll. Oh, okay. So the... And let's go to uh, Revelation chapter 6 and let's look at the passage that this liar is trying to pervert. Okay. Um, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. So the heaven departing is the same as the clouds be rolled back as a scroll? Uh, clouds? I don't see any clouds here. I just showed you the rapture passages where it talks about the clouds. The heaven departed as a scroll. 
The heaven is the clouds, apparently, according to Steve Anderson. Maybe you should go back and learn some English there, buddy. The heaven and the clouds are two different things. When it is rolled together. And so right there, the song is referring to the events of the sixth seal. When no, it isn't. Quit your line. When the sun and moon are darkened, and the heavens depart as a scroll when it is rolled together, they say in the song that we're looking forward to that day when the clouds will be rolled back as a scroll, the trump shall resound. Okay, let's just stop for a second right there. Let's talk about the trump resounding. Let me just show you a little thing here, interesting thing. The word trump. Hmm, it only appears two times. What is Horatio Spafford writing about? He's writing about the trump shall resound. There's one reference. There's reference number two. 1 Corinthians 15, 52 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, both of which are pre-tribulation rapture passages. Hey, to the, to the you post-tribbers out there, I'll tell you what, I'll give you $500 in cash if you can show me this word trump in any of the Gospels. Show it to me from a King James Bible. I don't know what the other satanic versions do. Show it to me in a King James Bible. It's not there. You know why? Because there are trumpets in the Gospels. Trumpets associated with the second coming of Jesus Christ. Trumpets blown by angels during the tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble. But only two references to the trump. And Horatio Spafford made sure to say trump. The trump shall resound. Why didn't he say the trumpet shall resound? Because he was not referring to the second coming. He was referring to the rapture. And here you have a liar that's deceiving people all over the world. It's just disgusting. It ticks me off. Of course, in Matthew 24, it says, Sun and moon are darkened, trumpet sounds, Jesus comes in the clouds. See what he did? He just told the truth. The trumpet sounds. Trumpet, not the trump. They say, oh, it's the same thing. It is not the same thing. The trump shall resound, and then the song says, And the Lord shall descend... Even so, it is well with my soul. And the even so is in quotes. Well, now listen to this one. Here he lies again. The even so comes from Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, when the Bible says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Uh-huh. Oh, so then that's the even so that he meant, huh? There's no other even so's in the Bible. I'm going to show you light again to you. Okay, let's go down through. Look at look at all these even so's. Even so, there's one in John. Even so, in Acts. Even so, Romans. Even so, Romans. Even so, even so. Even so, even so, even so, even so, even so, the whole way down through. And you say, okay, show me in Revelation. Okay. How about Revelation chapter 16, verse 7? Or how about this one, Revelation 22, verse 20? Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Could it be that Horatio Spafford was referring to this reference right here, which I myself use many times when I answer emails? Even so, come Lord Jesus. When I see things getting more and more corrupt and wicked, I'll say, even so, come Lord Jesus. Oh no, it had to be the one in Revelation 1-7 that would prove a post-trib rapture. Look at this. Look at all these references to even so, and this little lion devil right here picks one of them and says, oh, that's the one that Horatio Spafford doesn't even know his name, but he says that's the one that this guy referred to because it was a post-trib hymn. This guy here is a liar. Man, just so ridiculous. Who would follow somebody like this? I mean, you, you have to be a, a Bible blockhead to follow this lying false prophet. 